Hey guys, welcome to another edition of BB News and today I'm talking about Maurizio Pochettino and would he be a good fit for Chelsea? <laughs> So yesterday we heard the news that um, Luis Enrique is now out of the race and we've heard a lot of um, Chelsea fans you know, who really wanted Luis Enrique disappointed about that and saying, no, the reason he didn't get the job is because he's not a yes man or whatever. He had some demands. We don't know what those demands are, but um, if those demands couldn't be met by the club, whatever they were, then, and they know that they're already at loggerheads, then what's the point because we're going to have another situation in a, f in a few months time or, or later down the line where you know it's going to become um, untenable between him and the board and you know, don't start saying oh it's because he's not a, he's, he's not a yes man or whatever it's maybe the direction he wants to go is a different direction than what we want to go and it's not and the decisions are not going to be made by Todd Bowley. Todd Bowley is getting all the blame, but um, Vivell, um, Stewart and other people, they're making the decisions. They're the footballing men. You, people said they want footballing men making the decision. That's what they're doing now. And some people are just not happy. They just always have find something to moan about. And the thing is, as well, um, it's always... You know, what... As I said in a video when I was doing a comparison between Nagelsmann and Enrique, was uh, what's he done outside of Barcelona with MSN? His, his CV outside of Barcelona isn't that great. And that, I wouldn't have minded him, yeah. I think he's a decent coach, but to say that he's the main one, him or nothing, and, and that, you know what's going to happen. If, if, uh, if it, whether it be Nangsman or Pochettino, I'm going to be talking about, um, if they don't succeed, everyone's going to be, oh, uh, I told you it should have been on the weekend. And that's the thing. People don't, no, no, they, they just have their favourites and they'll be critical every step of the way of the person who is not their preferred favourites. And I've seen some nonsense going on in social media at the moment um, because um, it's no longer Enrique and, oh, we're not a serious club, we're turning into RB Leipzig and all this sort of nonsense. Come on, guys, just, 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 just wake up. Right, anyway, um, so with, with Enrique out of the... Um, the, the reckoning now we have got uh now it's, it's Nanglesman's always been the common denominator it's always been Nanglesman and someone or another now it's Potichino is coming to, into the picture um I won't dwell on Nanglesman because I spoke about Nanglesman already in a couple of videos go back and watch those if you want to see but I'm going to be talking more on, on, on Potichino now Potichino and again nonsense from our fan base is oh and the reason they don't want him is because he used to manage Spurs. Get out of here with your rubbish. You know, what's that got to do with it? You know, OK, we've got a rival with Spurs, but it doesn't matter. So are we going to cut our nose off the spot? I suppose an Harry Kane was available. Are we going to use that same thing? Oh, we don't want to go Harry Kane. You know, we're crying out for someone who can score goals for us. But some people wouldn't want Harry Kane because he... Um, played for Tottenham, even if that meant Harry Kane would, is going to be the player, he's going to take us to great things, win, um, win us titles again, but they won't don't want him. How stupid does that sound? Pochettino is a good manager. And another thing what people are using against him is, oh, he's still at PSG, but, you know, he had a similar record at PSG to what Tuchel had had. But no one's saying about oh, two girls that failed at PSG because he, you know, the only thing that both managers didn't do is win the Champions League. You know, or one of them, you know, Tuchel got to the final uh, and, and lost to a good Bayern. Um, and Pochettino got to the semis and they, he lost to um, Manchester City. So that's, that's not, you know, it's not as if they were losing to teams, you know, rubbish teams or anything. And... Okay, um, Thomas Tuchel won one more La Liga, I mean, one more A League A uh, than um, Pochettino did. But um, the, the, the season that Pochettino actually came second, it wasn't Pochettino, it was Pochettino and Tuchel who came second. A lot of people don't realise that. Tuchel got sacked in December of that year, Pochettino took over. So if we are crediting Tuchel for our Champions League win, when Frank Lampard got us to the, through to the group stages, of that of that um, Champions League campaign, then you've got to 
say and give give him some of the blame for them not winning league earn that season because Pochettino took or took over halfway through the season. So that's why their records at PSG are similar. Another good thing about Pochettino, Pochettino, he's ideal for this sort of squad because he took a, a underperforming Tottenham. Well, no, they're always underperforming anyway. But he took a Tottenham side, similar sort of profile to what we are now, with a lot of young players, um, people who hadn't realised their potential, and he made them a serious club for a while. Okay, they didn't win anything, but Tottenham were never in the top four. He consistently got them into the top four. He got to the final of the Champions League as well. Um, similar to what Tuchel did before he came to Chelsea, got into the final of the Champions League. And he got and anyone who can get someone like Deli Ali to be a decent footballer must be a good coach. Because Deli Ali, you know, he looks superb under him, you know. Since he's gone away, he hasn't been the same player. And then if you look at other managers, you know, some people are calling for the likes of um Conte to come back, other people calling for Mourinho to come back, but both of them have managed Spurs and neither of them have had uh, as much a joy out of that squad as Pochettino did. Okay, they haven't won anything, but Pochettino got them, had them higher at the table competing for um, trophies. And Marina can achieve that and Conte can achieve that. So if you can see, yeah, Pochettino, I think... Um, He's, he's good. He's a good manager. I like his style as well. He played a high pressing style and he tries to play attractive front foot football. And there's one game where we played. I can't remember if it was our manager. It was Conte or Sari. We got beat. That's when Derry Alley always used to score against us. But the way, what impressed me about Pochettino in that game was when we were trying, I think it was Sari for the team. We were trying to play out from the back. But the way that he strangled us and um, pressed us, you know, the way he positioned each of his players in that press, we just couldn't get the ball out of that, beat that press from from, from him. And similar to how um, Pep sets up the way he's, he wants his sides to press as well. So uh, that really impressed me when I, when I saw, you know, the way that he, he's, he's, you know, his, ta his tactical setup is. So for me, if he came in, I'm not like some people, I don't care if we manage Tottenham, if he if he comes in and he gets us playing good football and competing again, I don't mind that. You know, I'll take him, I'll take Nangelsman, and I don't mind. You know, I've got no agendas about the, the manager, and that's the thing. When we have certain agendas about a manager or we, you know, firmly um, support one manager over another, then we are going to get biased opinions over the alternatives. So with me, I trust the club to make the best decision and um, we'll see how it goes from there. Um, so guys, what do you think about the Pochettino situation? Uh, would you be happy to get him in? Do you think he's a good coach? What do you think? You don't want him because you're Spurs or you don't want him because of what happened at PSG? Although I don't think you know anything in my opinion um, bad happened at PSG um, do you think he's a good coach worth pursuing stick your comments in the section below and I'll see you guys on the next video so don't forget to smash that like button and turn on all post notifications so you never miss a video that I post and um, share the video with your friends so take care bye bye <laughs>